Hello, it's Raglan Virginia, a next generation landscaper. Uh, we over here uh, at Gladys Noon Spelman Elementary School over here in Chevrolet, Maryland. They needed a serious overhaul on their property. So, you know, uh, I'm gonna come over here, get it done, for, you know, do it for free for them, just to touch it up and, and, and get things going. Um, Cause there's no way why they should you know, the kids and the staff should be coming to the school with it looking like this. All right, so uh, without further ado, I'm gonna show you um, what we're gonna do, and then we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Hold on. So, we're gonna clear all this grass off the grass first. Uh, clear all this grass off the grass. Uh, we're gonna trim all of this down, clear everything off. Uh, the vines, I'm not too sure about that. I may just, you know, just clean everything now just to make it look nice and neat and stuff like that. Okay. So, uh, one thing about it is, um, the kids shouldn't be coming up in here looking like this. Cause if you see this over here, you know, when they're walking up this walkway right here, instantly you can see all of this stuff and all of this grass and it's just not presentable. And then going down here. It's just not presentable at all. And they got lower limbs and stuff just hanging down and things of that nature, okay? So then once you're walking up this walkway right here, you got, you instantly see limbs over here that's just hanging down and it's hard for them to get over into their little picnic area over there. So we're gonna go ahead, clear that out and take care of that for them. Uh, just cut some of these lower limbs so it'll be easier for them to come. And then over here, we'll just come clear some of these weeds out, prune these bushes up and clear some of the weeds out so it'll be presentable when they walking up the walkway here, okay? So when they walking up the walkway here, it'll be presentable and stuff like that and just clear some of these weeds out of here and prune the bushes up. All right, so as you see, you know, we got our work cut out for us and, um, I'm gonna pick, uh, the goal is to do as many as I can. Um, not to say it'll be great for the year, but at least for, you know, the next, you know, two or three weeks, it'll be presentable, you know, for when they come, you know, at least they'll feel good about themselves uh, when they come and stuff like that. Um, yeah, and then go ahead and uh, take care of some of this grass over here and we're going to cut this strip down over here with all of this stuff okay just to make everything uh presentable and then down here we're going to take care of this too uh down here as well uh it's just overgrown because as soon as they come in they're seeing this okay they're actually seeing this as soon as they come in and it's just not, you know, presentable for nobody. You know, they're gonna sign, you know. It's just not presentable for nobody, you know. So this is what they see because this is, when they pull up here and they coming in, instantly they'll see that over there. Instantly they'll see this coming up here when they coming up, they'll see this, and then they'll see all of this here coming up, okay? So, we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get some action footage going on here. Uh, just kick back, relax, you know, uh, check out what we got going on. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment. All feedback is good feedback in my opinion help out the channel a little bit okay so we're gonna go ahead and get into it so we're gonna go ahead and start up here first then we're gonna hit the middle section then we're gonna hit this section okay all right be back to you in a second
So now why Jermaine finished blowing down down there and blowing the stuff into uh, the woods over there. Let me show you what the grass look like. So now it's cleared off but everything is mainly uneven. All right. So now that we even got all the grass cleared off, now I'm gonna go ahead, start trimming, and then once he finish blowing, he gonna come behind, you know, with the cut and stuff like that. All right, be back to you in a second. Okay, so one thing I noticed is when I was trimming that they have like a little patio area. So I guess they come out, the kids come out and play or I guess, you know, when they get in trouble or something like that, they got to come out here and sit or however it may be because I just see chairs out here. So let me show you. So this is the area right here where they come and they sit down. And I guess they play because I see a chair right there. You know, a chair over there, chairs over there, and chairs here, right? So I guess uh, by me seeing all of that, I think they just come out here and they just sit or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead uh, while uh, black blowing down. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just tidy this area up and we can blow this down and move to the next section. All right. Yeah, so we got to get these schools together, man. We got to get the schools together. All right, back to you in a second.
All right, there's one thing I wanted to point out while uh, Jermaine gonna go ahead start cutting this section and I'm a trim. But one thing I gotta say is you gotta get these weeds out the cracks because if the kids are walking up the sidewalks or something like that, they can instantly trip, they can hurt themselves, a parent can hurt themselves. Hey, somebody from the uh, faculty or the staff can hurt themselves, okay? So whenever, you know, maintaining, you know, schools, homes, uh, off of whatever always make sure these cracks are, are, are weeded out like going along here There All the way down here And especially here But they can easily by this being as big as it is they can instantly Hurt themselves when they're walking Okay so we're gonna go ahead, take care of this part for them. Go ahead and uh, cut the grass up in here. And then we're gonna go ahead and move on. All right, be back. Oh, excuse me. All right, be back in a second.
All right, so while Black Finish is blowing down the area, uh, just weed whack down, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get started pulling these weeds and doing some pruning over here in the entryway. Let me show you. So we're gonna go ahead and prune these hick shoes up, these tall weeds. We're gonna go ahead and pull this out, the vines. We're gonna pull those out. All the grass and stuff, we're gonna pull that out. Pull this out, pull that out. And these big tall sucker weeds over here, we're going to cut those down and go ahead and take care of the other side. All right, so they can have a nice entrance way. Uh, we're not going to do no mulching, just clean it up so it'll be nice and presentable for them. All right, I'm going to go ahead and get back to work. See you. Yeah, now that uh, Jermaine then, uh, did the trimming and stuff around here, 
what we're going to do is uh, go ahead and pull these vines off these rose bushes over here and cut some of the limbs uh, back away from this picnic table. Let me show you. So we're going to cut some of these limbs up so they can spruce up so they can sit up under their picnic table right here. Just spruce it up, whatever. I'm not really worried about too much of what's hanging over on the other side. And then over here, we're going to get these uh, vines out from these rose bushes right here. As you see, they got, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So this right here, you see how you just pull that down? So yeah, we just pull that down like that. Just so we can uh, get, there you go. All right, all right. Be back to you in a second. Now that we didn't uh, clear the vines off of this rose bush and did a little trimming on the tree, I didn't came across the coolest thing. It's old as ancient, but it's kind of a shame in the process. Okay, so uh, let me show you what I just found up under all these daggone vines right here. So right here, we got an old school library. That's up under there. And what it is, is when the kids wanted to come read something or they wanted to drop something off or something like that, they would come, pull this down and drop the books off or they'll come and pull the books out. So they dropping the books down. Oh Lord, it's a spider up in that joint. That joint just crawling, Lord have mercy. So then you come and you got all type of books in here. That's just, you know, laying up in there. I don't know what else is in there. Oh. I don't know what else is in there, you know? So you got all type of books in there. So you got, you know, The Lion King, some little ABC funny joints, and they look fairly still kind of good. And you got Mr. Bear. <laughs> so you got books up in there, so I guess, you know, you know, uh, I thought that was kind of cool to share. Um, but now that you got the way of uh, the internet, <laughs> Google, uh, and everything else in between, there's no you know need for all of this. But you could tell they hadn't been using that in a while because of all the vines and stuff that was covering over it. But I thought, I thought that was kind of cool. You know, me reading, I like to do a lot of podcasts and stuff like that. But... You know, every once in a while, I still like to go back to my hard books, you know what I mean? And and, and uh, do some uh, uh, reading from the books and stuff like that. But that's that, that, that was cool. I thought I would just share it with you. Let me show you one more time. I just thought I'd share it with you. Just a little library and stuff like that. So I guess they, I hope they'll be happy with that. I'm not going to go in there because I don't know what's in there. And I don't want no surprises. <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, I still like the hardbacks, but, you know, I do my audibles and my podcasts and stuff like that. Like, I'm listening to a podcast now. Um, okay. So, thought that was cool. Thought I'd share it with you. Be back to you in a second.
So after I was trimming the limbs on that tree right there, I came around the side here and I saw something that was interesting. <laughs> Just finding stuff. Let me show you. Uh oh, still. So over here, this is their garden area. So I was weed whacking along here and saw this. So I said, well, let me go ahead and go over here because, you know, I'm thinking these are, are something to feed the birds. So I, I'm thinking that these are bird, bird houses over here, which I think is pretty cool. I ain't going up in there. So I'm thinking these are bird houses that they got up in here, right here. And then I came across and I found this. <laughs> Another box <laughs> full of books. Full of books. Found another box full of books. And on the inside, they tell them to take a book and this and that, which is cool, you know. But I don't know who come behind here the way this looks back here. So I'm gonna continue to weed whack all of this stuff down, and I'm gonna try to get some of this down over here, and I'm gonna clear this part off over here so that you know it'll be clear so everything will be clear just in case they decide to come out feed the birds and then do the books and then it looks like over here they be having some type of class right so you got the tree stumps over here which are numbered you know to you know which are numbered and stuff like that and they got the board up here and this and that, they got a little shed that's over here, which I ain't going too close to there, but it's a shed over here and this and that. But who wants to be out here learning when you got grass all over the place? So we thought we was finished, but when I came back and I saw this, I said, well, let's go ahead and tackle this and then we'll be done. All right, so, job isn't done uh i may not get all of the footage of this because i'm running low on my sim card and my battery's getting low so i'm gonna try to get as much as i can but i will give you the after effect all right in a minute
we're gonna come down and cut the whole strip but uh we're gonna have to go ahead and take the weed whacker to this part right here because it's so sunken in and it's so rocky and it has like oh my bad and it has like cement all over let me show you so this part right here is just so by being so tall if you see right here it's sunken in you know right here and it's cement right there and it's sunken in all over right here so he went up and he stopped you can see where he stopped at right here and then it drops all right here and then gets the thing. So we'll go ahead and take the weed whacker to that. And then we'll take the weed whacker and go along the fence part right here. Up and down here. As you see, he's coming down, but he's going to get as much as he can. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get to the weed whacker and be back to you in a second.
all right well we all done so um everything's all finished everything's all done so um after this just check out the before and afters uh of the before pictures of what the school looked like and the after pictures of what the school looked like um i thought i'll do that versus you know walking back through and stuff like that because the brother is low tap <laughs> okay because it's time for me to go to 7-eleven get me a slurvy you know what i'm saying a little slushy <laughs> okay so um i hope you stayed to the end i hope you enjoyed this video there are more videos like this coming so trust and believe there are more videos like this coming i mean we got caught by a couple surprises i didn't know they had like an old school feel uh a classroom outside with some planters maybe we can get with them and collab and you know do some little outdoor gardening in the boxes that we saw over there you know um we discovered two little you know library boxes with books in it you know what i mean so you know in these schools man you know if we take care of them we'll find little treasures that they probably forgot that they had you know but you know that's why next generation here to take care of the next generation and we're gonna recover these you know hidden discoveries so the kids can have a better future out here okay so this is raglan jr coming from next generation landscape and don't forget to subscribe Hit that notification bell, give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment. All feedback is good feedback in my opinion. Help out the channel a little bit. And until the next time, keep persevering by any means necessary. Until the next time, see you.